Hi again everyone, I'm Ollie Matthews. This is the Narcissistic Resistance and this resistance video is sponsored by contribution from B and here's her story. Dear Ollie, my name is B. I learned so much from open sharing. <clears throat> I'd like to thank you and every person listening now for caring. I had to get my laptop out of the house so I'm connected with my little phone but it's my turn to contribute and I'd like to hear your opinion. Where to start? My younger sister went to an AL anonymous meeting when we were in our early 20s. I think that's like families for alcoholics, right? That's what changed everything. My mother is an alcoholic and I believe a narcissist as well. It's in the family. <clears throat> the drunk has been so hard to see through, but there's more to her dysfunction I'm recognizing. We lived in a very, very, we lived a very, very turbulent life as children with her. One good thing is when we moved out, we became pretty relaxing. We had a kamikaze upbringing, literally flying dangerously in Cessna aircraft with my nut mom from one unstable career or event to another. She had nonstop relationships in the exact, in the same exact manner she drove, worked, drank, flew, you name it. <clears throat> no one ever knew what she was thinking or responding to with such intensity and anger. If she forgot one, re if she forgot one reason, she'd come up with another, and that's when I completely stopped trying to figure her out. She never even knew what was going on. How could, how could I? I'd be darned if I kept going there with her. It would never end. When I decided to go to AL Anonymous myself, the supportive folks there helped me crack open my quiet, anguishing heart to just speak about my life with abusers. My parents were not married for very long. My mom went on in life to never really have any more relationships at all, except mainly with me. I was programmed by her for that. She's like a lone wolf, basically. Al, a, AL Anonymous helped me a lot with her. My younger sister and I could not have lived more opposite lives traveling between our divorced parents. We lived in rugged, isolated mountain poverty in Montana with our mom and in the, Man, and in Manhattan, and in the Manhattan of Minnesota with our dad. Soon after divorcing my mom, my dad remarried. He married an even more abusive and mentally hostile mother of four children. It's hard to believe someone could have been even worse than my drunk narc mom. My stepmother was a straight up cold hearted dead inside career narcissist. After they married, my dad quit working and went straight into full time graduate studies. My stepmom would manipulate everything and everyone in the most still calculating ways I've ever seen. She was abusive in really weird ways when my dad wasn't home. Yeah, he was always escaping his marriage. For example, she would tell us as small children she wasn't going to do our laundry. We had to do it ourselves. We didn't know how. She decided to stop feeding us when my dad was gone. She made all the money. We could, he we could, we could clean up the kitchen and eat whatever was left over after she and her children ate supper and on and on. <clears throat> Golden child son, dumping ground, dumping ground daughter, pretty typical. Her poor kids, jeesh. We didn't tell our dad any of this because we loved our dad and wanted to have fun with him while we were there. We didn't want, want to upset him. And motherly abuse had become our norm. We didn't know any better. We imagined life was, was a great adventure when we were small. We believed our dad was the strongest and most fun dad in the world. After 25 years of marriage, my dad divorced his second wife. But not before they had divorced and remarried once in that time. He was always lured back with promises of more sex, more money, more fun, more God. Whatever it took, he always fell for it. Because he wanted to fall for it. Listen, sounds like he was using her as much as she was using him. And he was the one running off to friggin' academia, graduate studies, what, while, while she abused his kids. What do you think? He didn't know? You really think he didn't know? Come on. There's a reason why he spent so much time 
outside of his house, that they had to be remarried, that they got divorced twice. He got divorced twice to the same woman. And you're telling me he had no idea what was going on? Bullshit. He threw you to her. Whatever it took, he always fell for it and immediately reclaimed his trusty, neutered life, style of comfort, making no real money of his own with this corporate ladder climbing narc controller. My dad took to nonstop complaining and pessimism in his life. Everyone else was stupid. Everything was judged. Unless, unless he was happy, then, everyone, and then everybody should be happy like he was. He would tell us girls inappropriate stuff about such personal adult things. In fact, he never stopped being this way. In effect, it affects everything in his life, his work, all of his relationships now. He tells people that he doesn't even know so many inappropriate he, he tells people that he doesn't even know so many inappropriate things. He can't have success in any way because of it. Furthermore, the second everything seems to get better for him, he quits or stops and reverts back to total bullcrap insolence as I say it. Never getting out of dead-end career or relationships. This, this type of narcissist is so frustrating. Because they sabotage themselves. Not because they're afraid of success. Because they like to turn, they like to to disappoint everybody around them. Okay? They're these people who have the minimum, as soon as they start having a minimum of success, as soon as things start getting easy, that's when they better, that's when they got to fuck it up. Because they build up, because what it is, is he likes to build up your hope and then crush it in front of everybody. Build it up and crush it. And he's going to continue to do it as long as you allow him to get away with it. So now with years of support later and an open, healthier dialogue, I realize it was my dad as much as it was my mom's. Yeah, obviously. That's what I told you. He loves narcs and abusers. He now has another new wife since these two. I have a 38-year younger brother now and three new rotten behavior step siblings. I don't know. Somebody take off that broken record. Thank you. <clears throat> there are narcissists that hide behind other narcissists. That they thrive in the chaos of narcissism. Okay? Your father is a puppet master. He's a string puller. He's a manipulator. How did he get this woman to, 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 to fund him for 25 years with no work, no job, and you're thinking she's the one pulling all the strings? No, I think he's just a master manipulator. And your mother was a raging drunk. But because, see, much like, and you're in the same position I am, much like my drunky the fuck clown mother, her outward, overt, fucking, aggressively crazy behavior in front of everyone was a mask. It was a mask for my covert narcissistic father to hide behind as a victim to everything and everybody. Same deal here. Your mother is so outwardly drunk and crazy that your father's covert fucking manipulation goes unnoticed. Goes unnoticed. That, wait a minute, wait a minute. You divorced this woman twice? You were with her for 25 years. You divorced her twice and you're telling me he had no idea that she was abusing you kids. Bullshit. Bullshit. Once again, the overt narcissist gives cover to the covert narcissist. And it's the covert narcissist that does the, the preponderance of the damage, which is what you figured out here. And when that covert narcissist mask gets peeled back and you're like, holy shit. Wow. 
Because for as crazy and as damaging as your mother was and my mother was and is, as damaging and as insane and as many stories I'm sure you can tell of her fucking craziness, as crazy as that is, there's a whole another level of narcissist that you were dealing with that you didn't even realize and it's just as damaging and you don't even realize how he's damaging you for decades for decades because of this drunk's craziness and he's using all of that to his advantage the entire fucking time isn't he isn't he so once again, you have a situation where you have somebody realizing who grew up with, a, with an overtly aggressive, overt narcissistic drunk. And we all know, those who deal with it know what that's like. And then you realize after decades of dealing with that, there was someone else even more damaging with all that fucking crazy drunken outrageous behavior that one at least everybody could see it at least you could see it at least you knew to somehow stay away from it at least the covert shows you because they can't control yourself while the overt destroys your soul from within and make and you make go and you go decades making excuses for him before you even before you ever realize what he was really doing. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much, B, for your contribution and your story. <clears throat> Thank you to everybody watching. Please leave any opinions or advice in the comment section below. And again, if you want your story read on the channel, you have a topic you'd like me to cover, a narcissist you'd like to expose, you'd like to set up. Skype, a phone call, have a private video made or a Facebook live chat, or you'd like to sponsor a video like this for someone who needs help and can't afford it, or just make a contribution to the channel in general to keep it supported, growing and expanding because this channel survives 100% on contributions from all of you. Without you guys, all of this goes away. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more videos like this, or even a political video, you know what to do with the PayPal and email link in the description box. Also, please like and share this video wherever you can. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and be sure to click the subscription bell to be notified of all my video uploads. I'm Ollie Matthews. This has been The Narcissistic Resistance. Take care.